Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the Group O Round 2 match between Fez and Andri. Um, as you can see they are red and blue because this is a knob off and it's really hard to tell, you know, tell them apart if they have their proper colours on. So we're going with red and blue. We've got the amazing, the Chad Ogre here, all the spikes and the bow on his back. <laughs> Uh, with the significantly less, uh, well, more generic Andre, not not really, you know, less customized, uh, just completely, completely bog standard team from Andre, but a, a glorious one from Fez, lizard man, cheerleaders, slam coach, great stuff. Um, I can tell you that Fez is a PlayStation coach. There you go. He's qualified from Trollball World Championship qualifier and is from the UK. Whereas Andre Spanish and qualified from the PC um, season three official playoffs. And uh, we can have a look at the table here before either match of this round. You can see that Spinky won his first round, which was, I believe, against Andre. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was. And uh, Go Go Bear is Dark L, so he won his first round. So now Fez and Andri both on a loss. It's imperative that they win to get themselves back in with a shout. Let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, and they've both got some skills. <laughs> oh, it's a blitz. Right, so five, six guard. Oh, actually, Andri has got, has got the team that I like for knobs. Well, I say like. If I was forced at gunpoint to play Imperial Nobility, this is what I'd pick. Six guard. Leader to dodge. Um, whereas Fez has gone for the block ogre and the block thrower and four guard and two blodgers. So this is more like the Dimmy G build, right? Dimmy likes the block ogre. Honestly, now that I think about it, maybe the block ogre is, is, is pretty good because the way you win games is just by hitting things with your ogre and trying to get lucky. So I, I thought six guard was better, but... Now I'm thinking maybe the, the block ogre is better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like because Imperial Ability are a bad team, the way they're going to win games is by they have the ball on a blodger and you can't get it off them, right? That's, that's one way they can, they can do things. And the other way they can do things is smash you with mighty blow and like you know a strength five block mighty blow guy every turn. Like you still want to smash with his ogre every turn. It's just you having to do without block, right? So yeah, maybe maybe block ogre is the way. Maybe it is. Oh, wow, brutal stun. Gets the pick up. A very safe ball. But, um, what is Fez gonna do? So that knobs or please. I thought it said knobs on a plane. <laughs> do you remember snakes on a plane in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was knobs on a plane. I don't know why I thought that. It's clearly knobs or please. <laughs> knobs on a plane would have been even worse than snakes on a plane. Oh, wow, he's staying here. Let's try and punch these guys. 3D with a blitz. This is the thing, right? He's just 3D blitzing with this guy every turn. So if you're going to throw... Like, I think he's doing the right strategy. Because I think that's what you have to do, because... He ain't got a good team, so yeah, maybe it is right to give him, give him block. <laughs> yeah, I, I like snakes on a plane. <laughs> oh, two guards in, three dice, ogre blitz. So yeah, I mean, it seems that this is what both sides are doing every turn, or trying to do. <laughs> so, 
So yeah, there's a, I guess I guess if that is your plan, is every turn ogre blitz or block, then him having block really helps, right? Big mistake from Andre though, not smashing with the ogre, but has block, makes a Kaz. Okay, works out perfectly. <laughs> And the ogre comes in, and guard does something. So you know, guard it, guard is a really good skill. It's a tough choice, isn't it? It's a tough choice. Absolute wall of guard here. Six guards. Pretty incredible. <laughs> God, ogre stays down. <laughs> the, the N in NASA stands for knobs, if only. Oh, wow. That's a Kaz. Oh, it's just the uh, Lyman who was over there. So only, knob, only knobs. Only Lyman Kaz so far. A 1D pow. Outrageous. Gets a pow and Kaz, glorious stuff. The ogre just smashing things. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe block is good. Well, it's a bit of an exposed uh, leader. Also, oh no, I honestly, I just, I couldn't see because it's Andre's turn and these, these are dead bright and these are dark and there's like a design there I literally just couldn't see the rerolls and I thought what the hell Fez has used all his rerolls and I haven't even noticed but no that was not true they're clearly there now on his turn so just nuts to do it mm, hardcore nobbing <laughs> yeah, maybe Nobility can actually win because they're playing themselves. <laughs> Nobs are playing with themselves. Let's go. Bouncing off each other with the uh, stand firm. I'll be honest, even though one team's red and one team's blue, I still have no idea what's happening. <laughs> I'm just cheering for the ogres smashing things. <laughs> yes. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> find, it's not so much that we're trying to find a winner, it's which one? How can a knob team not lose? Yeah. No, wrestle. I mean, Andrew's not really getting anywhere, is he? Like, he's doing all right. You know, making some hits. He made a big Kaz there. But, I don't really get... He's, he does seem to be out blocking a decent amount. But he's not really getting anywhere. I guess he's got a bit of an advantage. That was a huge, huge double hit there. Lodger holding a lot of space. Surely going to try and go through the Blodger this turn. Yes, it's an Ogre Blitz as well. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. The funny thing is, the funny thing is it didn't have to be. It didn't have to be, right? He, he had got this knockdown, or, or wrestle down. So he could have just put in the ogre there, and then wrestle, blitzed with wrestle. Um, but instead, went with the ogre, 
But I guess you only need the push, right? So the wrestle actually isn't that good on... But you're still hitting with a player that you control, right? And then you could have, like, four and then five, six and put him in there. But obviously the player was to three, four, five, right? And get the ogre in on these guys. And then this guy comes in and bases and then these come through. But, uh... Incredible, incredible dub skull from the ogre. Flip me. Tried to re-roll it. Couldn't. Inferior ogre, yeah. <laughs> Try looking like this and you wouldn't fail anything. Stupid ogre. He's even got purity seals. Look at this guy. Coming straight from 40k. No, well, I say that. He's just gone stupid. <laughs> but we're definitely going to get two dice on the ball here. The problem is, he's now got two players behind the ball. Which you really, really don't want. He's actually made his defence worse by going for the ball sack. Andre has fully space cadetted him here. Ooh, I think this guy had to be there. I think this was a much better square for him. Or like even here, maybe. Well, I just pushed him there, so it's alright. <laughs> Fails the dodge. Counter score for the knobs, maybe. Right, let's let's try and see what the let's try to discern what players are which players are which. There's a thrower here. The throwers don't have sure hands, so we're largely irrelevant anyway, looking at this situation. It's just uh, players that have agility three plus. Got six of them. It's not easy for any of them to get round here, but I mean, obviously, that you want to really want to just hand off to this guy. But you've got to dodge out. And he, I guess he just picks it up himself, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He just picks it up himself. Kind of sucks because it'd be nice to have him like in range, awaiting a handoff, but like nobody can get it to him, so he's just got to do it himself. Oh, made the pick up and then one in nine the dodge. Oof, and now there's nobody in range. Like, it would have been really tempted just to get him in range, right? And then he can accept a handoff. But maybe, maybe, maybe that should have been the play, just get him in range. And then hope that you can get a better chance to him next turn. But it was really, like, it was so hard to get people around, I think. I think I like going for the pick up. Hard, isn't it? Those ones are always hard because at the end of the day, like, you know, things work or they don't, and then you think, no, oh, that would have been good, but who knows? Wait, he's not going to score here, is he? Oh my god. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. <laughs> and you're just reward, Andre. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's tragic. That was fantastic, wasn't it? Wasn't that fantastic? What a play, guys. That really is incredible. Four plus dodges. Maybe he shouldn't have been. Oh, no, because he can't score. He can't score. Wow, that was a great play to get the double chain forward. Really great, great spot, great to do it. And then, uh, but yeah, so you know, like obviously, wouldn't have even tried that if this guy had been scoring range. Probably because it was a lot of uh, it was a lot of rolls. But again, I, d I don't think I don't think it was wrong to to pick it up and run away. I think that was the correct thing. It's just one of those that after you do it, you think, oh, if only I hadn't done it, but I think it was right. Oh. Ogre goes stupid at the end. Tragedy. 
So, actually huge KO roll fail for Andri. A guard stays out and a guard is out for Fez as well. So they've got equal teams, basically. <laughs> a complete knob mirror. <laughs> they've even got the same players missing. Oh, God. <laughs> Shearing fans, it's the trap doors. They've just appeared. Oh man, are we going to see ogre on ogre violence? It sure looks like it. Oh, tragic. <laughs> This is good, isn't it? Hitting. Oh, you are! <laughs> this is good. He's getting to hit. He's getting to hit an armor's hit plus guy. And I know. No, I'm just going to dodge and hit the other one instead. <laughs> oh, that was class. No, thank you. Bosh. <laughs> um, yes, I guess that was a misclick, yes. Yeah. Trying to blitz one guy, then blitzing the other one. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> Ah, oh, wrong target. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's actually great. I'll run for you. Oh shit, I just got a dodge then. Oh, a one for the ogre. Gets the both down. Oh no, it wasn't, it wasn't the ogre. Oh, he was hitting a wrestler. He was hitting a wrestler. Mm. Maybe, maybe the, you know, should have been trying to get an ogre blitz on a non-block player. Oh, pushes do nothing. You do nothing. Stick drift. Cheeky skull. Oh dear, this looks a bit. This looks a bit of a pickle. A bit of a pickle. Two, two knock down, and lots in contact. This could be a brutal turn. First up, target the leader. Face the ball. Four. <laughs> yeah, we have a leaving it. It might take a while. Gets a knockdown. Pretty tame turn there, actually. That could have gone a lot worse. Well, it might still. No, I didn't get a power. Okay, him through there is pretty good. And he skulls, re rolls, gets the 1D pow. And an AV break. Oh, the Ribbon Ogre is in tatters. Still don't think it was a good enough turn. That was. It could have been a lot better than that. Got away with it a little bit. Oh wow, we're dodging the ball carrier. Do I not like this? Makes the dodge. Whoa. Makes the dodge, escapes the pressure. But we have like a big team split going on. Oh. 
Nah, I think the intended one was better. Like, he's armor eight plus, isn't he? So just try and remove something. I mean, removing the guard is great, obviously, if it works. And it, but you'd rather the uh, blitz the wrestle than the blodge, I think. Nothing. Imagine not blitzing with the ogre. Outrageous. Deserve non knockdown. Oh, fend this. And get to move these guys back. Yeah, this is this is rough. This is rough for Fez. This is gonna be a tough touchdown. Cause the side switch is all well and good, but it's abandoned it abandons his ogre, doesn't it? And now this is really he's in such a horrible spot. He can try and push forward here and He's left everything behind, so he's got to try and reconnect back deep. Oof. Yeah, this is a... A bit of a pickle. No, we're not leaving the words, no. <laughs> Man, the trench warfare game from Chalice was hilarious. The dwarves versus the chorves. This is the new, this is the new, oh wow, a little dance here. This is the new version of it, isn't it? The knob off, the, <laughs> the knob off LOS. <laughs> Nobody's allowed in the other person's half. I don't think Andrew got into the other half, did he? Apart from the chain. That was the only time he got into the other half, was the chain. It didn't work, and uh, Fez hasn't got into the opposing half yet either. Will he manage it? Oh, Andrew even had a safety there, a safety guard. Wow, that's outrageous spelling it like that, Randy Tanner. It's not those kind of knobs, it's Imperial Nobility. Putting the leader in, his, his leader is spent now, so just becomes an AV8 plus guy. Nine plus guy, sorry. Oh, gets the power. Okay, okay, are we going to turn the corner here? It's so many dice. I don't think he should be going forward either, unless he's going to get a hand off to. Oh, a sideline caging, okay. Well, that kind of works, doesn't it? Full pow. And into a removal. Standard. Well, this can work. This can work. Sideline cage. Then stand up the ogre. Yeah, yeah. Not quite safe. I guess this guy's going to dodge to there. That's why he hasn't gone yet. Yep, yeah, we've got into the opposing half, so congratulations, Fez. You win the you win the mini battle there. <laughs> oh, very dangerous spot. This thrower could go in the trapdoor. Have to block the yoga free right and ogre blitz. Surely, uh, maybe he's not blitz, just move him in. One, two, three, four, five. Just move him into there is pretty good. And yeah, and then blitz with another player. Because you really have to hit this guy to stop him getting. Oh, wait, can he, can he base the ball? Three, four, five? No, he can't. Oh, he does rush. He can, he does, he double rushes. Ah! Oh, wow. Wow. That's incredible. Okay. Oh, yeah, very clever. Chain him away. And then, oh no, that's not his uphill. I, I thought he could uphill surf him, but he can't. Was 
on his player. He's got the purple ring made me think he was a blue player, but he wasn't. Yeah, I was going to say just go over there. So what happened here? It looked like he went backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rush, rush is where he could have been. Where does he go? One, two, three. There. Oh no, so it was it was okay. It was okay. He still went. He still went right. Maybe he should have double rushed though, right? Maybe he should have double rushed. Really get. Yeah, reroll the dodge. Fair enough, yeah. Yeah, so maybe. Maybe save the. Rerolls for that. This makes less sense without thinking, too. Yeah, true, true. The, like, you know, the, the time. Being a factor is nice free of this fella, but look, double rush would have got him. At least a single rush actually would have stopped that. Gets the full pal. I think he probably should have rushed with that guy at least once. a dodge. Turn 15, just try and get what he can get. Relevant. Second one, yep, 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 yep. Gets the full power. Didn't even count the squares. Oh, didn't follow. And then dodged. Not what I would have done. Oh, fend! Fend! Okay, exactly what I would have done. <laughs> he was fended. Oh, I think I think this guy is maybe better here. Maybe not though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gotta be better here, right? So he's got to four three. Whereas now he can three three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two. So we can three three two this way. Whereas if you if you jam him in here, one two three four five six seven rush rush. Maybe he's got to come around the top way, or he's got to one two three four five six seven rush rush. So it, it would have added more, I think, if you if you put him in there. I'm putting him in there is better. We're going to double rush to tag this guy. Yes, that's beautiful, isn't it? That makes him going there even better, right? Because he would have had to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush, rush, yeah. It would have only added a rush, to be fair. It would have only been a tiny bit better. But I think it would have been a bit better. Oh, gets the dodge. Oh, he's just going double rush anyway, because he... Wait, no, he hasn't got re-rolls. Oh, he did pop dodge. He just pop dodge, so obviously he does that. Yeah. God. Please excuse me, I'm a bit slow. Jesus. Okay. Block with wrestle to run around. Block with block. Get the push. This, th to be fair, this this block could have been blockless, and then the block, the blitz on him could have been with wrestle, right, for the one and nine. But oh, no rerolls, no rerolls either side. So in that case, yeah, you've got to make it with wrestle. You've got to make this hit with wrestle, yeah. Gets the push. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gets the win. Four. Four. Unless Andre does a ridiculous chain again. Or timeout, I guess. Knobs, knobs, knobs.
Timeout. There is a timeout. Oh man, I hate timeout. I really hate timeout. I hate it so much. But there are no rerolls for Andre, so. The guard thrower can pick it up and lob it to this guy. <laughs> Gets it. Gets the catch. <laughs> Oh no, he's got a player here, oh god. Okay, we're still going to Ogre Blitz, let's go. Smash. It's really tough, isn't it? God damn. And <laughs> the excellent running pass. Oh. Failed. So now a 2D for a push. Gets it. Oh, wow. Time out here. Yeah. Oh, that's tragic. Absolute tragedy for Fez. Uh, a very hard earned win versus Andre. Robbed. Robbed by the uh, kickoff event. I honestly hate time out because it's like. The others are either random or punish you for playing badly, and this punishes you for playing well. I hate it so much. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But, there you go. A draw because it can't be both teams lose. Well done. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think Andrew's a really good player. and he, I mean, he deserved the, the chain probably, right? Like, his chain... His chain was incredible. It's like, I would have much preferred to have scored that chain and then not got the timeout <laughs> if I was him. So, um, you know, yeah, it's a, it's it's still a still a good result, so there you go. Um, so right, there we go. This is the, this was the game after the first round. So, Fez and Andre have both drawn and lost, which is going to make it very hard for them to qualify. But if they win the last game, they've probably got a chance, right? They've probably got a chance if they win the last game. Um, so there you go. Right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.